Welcome back, everyone. Timothy Little, aka Tim the Gamer 13. Happy to be back with you here today. Today I'm going to be doing a quick response video to uh, a couple comments that I've received, or several comments actually that I've received on my recast videos. And these are people who are struggling to run the recast properly, or you know, in many cases, the recast app just shuts down. And of course, for those of you who don't know, Recast is a Sega Dreamcast emulator for Android. It's the best version out there. It really is. So, you know, basically, for, for those of you experiencing some sort of shutdown when you go to launch the app, make sure you have everything in the right place. Seriously. I mean, you're, this is important. You have, location is everything. And so you have to have that folder, DC. You can go check out my tutorial on this. I did it about a year and a half ago on my, on my That and ES Fan channel. Um, so, again, folder called DC on the root of the drive. Inside DC, a folder called data, and then you're going to want to put DC underscore flash dot bin, DC underscore boot dot bin. Those two files have to be in there, along with some sort of disk loader, whether it be a dot CDI or dot GDI loader, um, as well as a buttons file, buttons dot PNG file. That, th that's it. Those are the guts. That's at the very core of the files that you need in order to run the recast. Make sure all that stuff's named correctly, guys, and make sure the files are where they're supposed to be. I'm sure you can put the system files. I mean, I haven't put it anywhere else than on the root of my drive. I think it's the it's it's a surefire bet. It's on the root of the drive. Should run very well. You should have no errors. Okay. And so that being said, also when you're running and say you're having a problem, because I've also received some comments, people saying, "Well, Tim, I can't run an individual game, right?" So you know, one or you know, one or two games are kind of just not running at all. They just decide not to launch. You have to make sure you extract the games properly. Find the actual ROM itself. And I'll give you a little hint here. Because I know it can be a little intimidating when you're first extracting some of these ROM files because there's so you might have like eight or nine in a, in a, in a, in a zipped folder, eight or nine files, right? Always go ahead and look for the file that's like the biggest, okay? So when you're looking for the image file, okay, I, I mean, usually it's pretty easy to find, but sometimes it might be buried in like a .oo file or just um, a file that, that doesn't even have an extension that you'd have to unzip because the files themselves in the folder you have to also be unzipped okay and so when you're kind of drilling around looking for it make sure that it makes sense so say for instance you download crazy taxi I don't know what how big crazy taxi is but it should run it's a game that should run all of us would agree in the Android community that game should be able you know to be emulated well on Android on the recast and so let's say it's 550 megs you're not going to be putting a file um, you know, you're not going to be, after you do all the extraction stuff, you're not going to be putting a file in there that's like 25 megs or like 125 or even 200. You want to make sure that it's actually the size that you downloaded it. So if that size that you downloaded it matches what the, uh, what the extracted ROM size is, that means you're good to go. And you, can, and you should have no problems running it. Unless obviously, the, you know, the game file or the ROM file is corrupted, which is always a possibility. But the point is that you're downloading from reputable sites. If you're, if you're downloading from reputable sites, you have no problem with it. So again, just a quick video to address some of those, you know, those incidents. Um, and then as well as address another common problem that I'm, I personally ran into when I went to the Play Store under having just downloaded my new Lollipop firmware onto my phone, I was unable to run Recast as well. I know many of you have experienced the same thing. Hence the video that I made about a month and a half ago. Go back and look at that um, regarding you know the latest build for Lollipop with the Lollipop users in mind that the Play Store did not offer. It, it didn't offer. You had to go to GitHub.com to get it. I put a link in the description in that video that I made about a month and a half ago. Be glad to do it you know right now, right here as well. Um, so you know, if, if you're one of these people updated to Lollipop and you're like, well, I can't play my games anymore with this previous build, and, I, and the Play Store is not offering me any Lollipop updates, go to the site below, guys. I encourage you to do that. And I'm going to be, in fact, be doing a review of that latest recast build as well in the next couple of days here. So again, it might seem a little daunting or intimidating at first, but I guess that some of the takeaways from this video would be make sure everything's in the right place. Make sure your files and stuff are, are named properly, make sure your ROMs are extracted properly, and make sure that you're running a build of Android, a build, um, excuse me, of uh, Recast that's compatible with your latest Android build. And you should be good to go. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, the project is imperfect. Remember, it's a work in progress. They have, the developers have made a lot of, a lot of progress. I follow them a lot. I, you know, I, I'm subscribed to them. I kind of keep close tabs on what they're doing. They're doing fantastic work. I can, I can assure you. So this really is the best sort of the best, you know, Sega Dreamcast emulator that is available for Android. It works on a ton of devices. I know it doesn't work on everyone. Again, it's an imperfect project, but they have come a long way since December of 2013, and uh, or I, yeah, 
towards the end of the year 2013 anyway, which is when I first downloaded it for the uh, for the Shield. They're doing great work, guys. Again, follow them. Go on GitHub. See the latest you know builds out there. It's really cool. And so, like I said, look, be on the lookout for that for that review. It's the R7 right now for Lollipop, by the way. Be on the lookout for that. I'll be doing a review of that. It's a really super cool build. I think you guys are going to like it a lot. A lot of great uh, progress being made in that. In, in, the, in the recast department. So that'll be all for now, guys. Stay tuned for now. I got some more, um, be putting up uh, some more footage here from some more PSP game footage as well as a few more P PlayStation 1 game footage as well. So stick around for those videos as well. I appreciate you guys watching me here on this somewhat newer channel of mine. So that'll be all for now, guys. Tim the Gamer 13 signing off. So long. Have a good rest of the